After another day in a row in the 40s, we're dropping again going into Thursday. Colder air already starting to make its way into the region. You can see a cold front already passed us and a couple cold fronts in fact went to the region today. Pushing in some scattered flurries with this. Uh, thankfully, it's just flurries. Really not seeing much more than a dusting possible in some spots this evening. As it don't be surprised if we run into a couple snowflakes, but we should see some minimal impacts out of this. Radar is going to stay a little active throughout the remainder of this evening. You look at future track and very hit or miss bursts of light snowfall expected throughout the rest of this evening and into early tonight. Again, not really seeing much more than a dusting as we go throughout the evening hours. Same for the overnight. You can see we slowly dry up by Thursday. So expecting to see dry weather, but colder conditions as we head into Thursday itself. Tonight, down to 22 with scattered snow showers early, then mainly cloudy conditions late. Those gusty winds continuing up to about 25 miles per hour out of the northwest. So that results in some chilly weather for Thursday itself. We're down about 10 degrees. We'll look at a partly cloudy and dry sky, but as you can see, that's going to hold temperatures down. Breezy winds could keep wind chills down into the 20s, even the teens at times. So get ready for that brisk weather to return going into Thursday itself, but it's short lived. We're right back possibly into the 40s going into the end of the work week. So we've got the 10 degree drop going into tomorrow, then rebounding right away into Friday. Warm enough where we're talking some rain showers on the way along with some snow. So it's not necessarily going to be completely spring like, but just like we would see in the month of March, 40 degree weather, possibly some snow as well as some rain. So let's track that out for you on future track. Here we are Thursday evening and already seeing the snow arrive. So that comes in as of Thursday night, expecting a quick, a quick burst of snowfall, likely before midnight. Then the weather warms back above freezing. So any showers that come in after that come in the form of rain. So we likely won't see many impacts when it comes to the snow as the travel conditions improve going into Friday morning. But keep in mind, if you're driving late Thursday evening, uh, you might run into some light snow showers showers or even some slushy roads and then most of Friday looking dry outside of a quick little burst of shower activity closer to the lunchtime hour. We should be dry for good into Friday afternoon. So a light snow showers, minimal amounts as of Thursday night. Watch out for slick roads just in case. But again, rain showers taking over by Friday morning. That should definitely melt or wash away whatever snow falls during those overnight hours. Up to 43 in the forecast for Friday itself. And then we drop about 25 degrees. It only leaves us in the upper teens for Saturday. Back to the 20s on Sunday and then next week uh, definitely climbing all over the place almost to freezing on Valentine's Day and look at next Wednesday 45 in the forecasts in your most accurate 10 day forecast. Will that heat last? Uh, likely we'll see some cooler conditions towards the end of next week, but a lot of mild weather ahead outside of those chilly days that we'll see this weekend. Brittany mild. That's what we like to hear. Alex. Thanks.